The vessel of a commercial reactor is being installed into the shell of this nuclear power plant. The pressure vessel for the first commercial nuclear power plant in Europe. Even for a large factory, this heart of the plant, which is going to enclose the uranium like a thick piece of armour, is not an everyday product. Not a usual piece of work. Single heavy plates are being formed by pressing. They have special properties. The plates have a low cobalt content and are plated with stainless steel. From these formed plates, the parts for the vessel will be welded together. Onto the flanges, which have to seal the reactor vessel against the high internal pressure, a nickel chrome alloy is being cladded, which is going to allow for a hard sealing surface. halves of the lower part are joined by welding. The weld is made up of several layers. fine machining of the ends of the lower part. The hard sealing surface is being face turned, ground and polished. Hour after hour, day after day, until the surface roughness is below one micron. Sealant rings will be mounted into milled slots. bottom of the lower part, control rods are going to control the reactor core. The nozzles for the control rod guide tubes are being fine machined. The guide tubes are seamless pipes made from high alloy steel with a high dimensional accuracy. An alignment telescope is used to measure if the axis of the pipes are running parallel. Only if they do, the control rod guide tubes can be welded to the nozzles in the bottom of the pressure vessel.
lower part is finished. It is put upright. The lid is put on and secured by screws. The upper part of the pressure vessel incorporates many holes in its 50 centimeter thick flange to accommodate these screws. Silver plated sealant rings are being placed into the slots. These ensure a completely tight joint of the upper and lower part. The pressure vessel is completed with a height of 20 meters and a weight of 100 tons. Machined to the precision of a watch. It is going to enclose the energy supply uranium. The control rods will move through the guide tubes and control the chain reaction. The steel not only has to shield the radiation, but also has to withstand the high pressure of the steam. The vessel carries a high responsibility for the safety of the power plant. Therefore, a rigorous and painstaking pressure test has to be carried out to prove the operational safety of the vessel. Strain gorges are used to determine localized zones of stress of the vessel. They are a highly sensitive electric resistor, which shows even the smallest expansions in the material. They are placed into particularly stressed areas. Each measuring point has got its own electricity supply line. And hundreds of these lines lead to the measuring room. The measuring equipment for the pressure test is set up. The pressure test begins. Pressure is raised step by step. Aside from the strain measurement, the temperature of the vessel and the expansion of the screws are constantly being monitored. All those who have worked tirelessly and with greatest care for weeks and months on the design and execution of each individual part, now want to experience the proof of the success of their work, maintaining a perfect working state of the reactor vessel up to the highest load level. That's our move. That's our